Hello everyone, welcome to the course Transmitter and Receiver Design Architectures for the RF Systems. In this course, I have tried to explain the key architectures for the RF transmitters, the RF receivers and the RF transceivers in an easy to understand manner. And in this course, the system level issues related to the RF design of these architectures is also explored. And this is an important course for the RF design engineers and the RF technicians who want to get job in companies like Qualcomm, SpaceX, Intel, Apple, etc. Now, the prerequisite for this course is the understanding of the RF fundamentals. I have tried to cover some of the RF fundamentals in this course. But if at some point you feel that you are not catching up with this course, then it is recommended that you take this course, RF Concepts, Components and Circuits for Beginners. This course is also taught by me and it is available on Udemy. Now coming to the course contents, this course begins with the review of the modulation concepts like what is amplitude modulation, what is quadrature amplitude modulation, what is quadrature phase shift keying and how the modulation and demodulation is achieved using these techniques. After that, we are going to discuss the difference between an RF band and an RF channel. And after that, the design considerations for the narrow band transmitters and receivers are discussed. And then we are going to discuss the different receiver design architectures. What are the pros and cons that are related to these receiver design architectures? And what are the system level design issues that are related to these receiver design architectures? And first we are going to discuss the direct conversion receivers. And why despite of the simplicity of these receivers, these receivers are rarely deployed and then we are going to discuss the heterodyne receivers and these receiver types are the most widely deployed receivers and we are going to discuss the dual conversion IF receivers. The dual conversion IF receiver is a subtype of heterodyne receiver that is used for the applications where we require high sensitivity. For example, if we are communicating with some satellite in the outer space, we would use the dual conversion IF receiver because of its high sensitivity. And then we are going to discuss the sliding IF receivers. In the sliding IF receivers, we try to reduce the number of oscillators that are there on the board of the receiver by deriving the frequency of one stage from the oscillator of another stage. And then we are going to discuss the zero second IF receivers. And all these receivers are type of the heterodyne receivers. And then we are going to discuss the image reject receivers. In these receivers, we try to simplify the design of the filters by using the image rejection techniques. And in these type of receivers, we will discuss the Hartley and the Weaver architectures. And then we would conclude with the low IF receivers. And then we are going to discuss the different transmitter design architectures like direct conversion transmitters, heterodyne transmitters, on off keying transmitters. And what are the pros and the cons and the design issues that are related to these transmitter designs. And after that, we are going to discuss the RF transceiver architectures. Transceiver is a device in which we combine the transmitter and the receiver in a single device. And the type of RF transceivers that we are going to discuss, they are time division duplexing transceivers, frequency division duplexing transceivers and we are also going to discuss the problem of the transmit receive leakage in the RF transceivers.